This morning, a lot of people are talking about an incident at the Wildlife World Zoo. This is where a woman was grabbed by a jaguar. Witnesses say she climbed over a barrier to take a selfie when the big cat uh, snatched her in its claws. The woman got scratched up and had to be taken to the hospital. Derek Stahl is live at the zoo right now trying to see exactly how this all played out. Have we learned anything new, Derek? I know that uh, the zoo probably just opening up in the last little bit. Yeah, good morning. The zoo uh, just opened at the top of the hour, so we're waiting for guests to come over this way. But we are getting a much closer look now at the enclosure and how it works in the lower barrier. It's a two barrier system. I'm joined by Christy Morkum with the zoo. Explain uh, how this barrier system works. It meets federal standards. It does. We are inspected by the USDA. We get random inspections. This enclosure and the barrier do meet the regulations that they set, and it does fit the two barrier standard that is needed when you are displaying predators like this. And so walk us through what we know about what happened here yesterday, because obviously this story is getting national attention. Yes. So we did have a guest get reported that she crossed the barrier by uh, several eyewitnesses to get close to the exhibit to get a picture and that her hand was up against the exhibit where our female jaguar was able to reach her claws through and grab a hold of her arm. Gotcha. And Mike, come over this way because I want to try to show, kind of demonstrate, I'm six feet tall. If I'm standing here at the edge of the barrier and I reach out, I'm still, I don't know, a foot or more away from the fence line. Now, obviously, when we have uh, the headline Jaguar attack, the Jaguar never made it out of the enclosure, obviously. There is an ongoing investigation right now. The Jaguar never made it out of the exhibit and the woman's hand was right up next to the exhibit. We have determined the Jaguar was not at fault in any way and the injuries were due to human error. And you bring up the not at fault part because a lot of people have been asking what's going to happen to this Jaguar. What? Tell us the latest with the Jaguar. Absolutely. The overwhelming response we've been getting from the community and the concern from the Jaguar we are very thankful for. Right now the Jaguar will remain off exhibit while the investigation is going on for the privacy, the comfort, and the well-being of the Jaguar and the Jaguar will not be euthanized. Gotcha. And, uh, and you, you also mentioned that uh, you're going to be taking a look. Obviously this does meet federal standards but you know, you'll be reviewing to see if if any other signage or whatever else needs to be out here so this doesn't happen again. Because remind us, there was a case about a year ago involving the same Jaguar. Yes, these barriers are set here for everyone's safety involved, including our guest, our keepers that have to get involved if something happens, and the safety of the animals. So people need to understand that these barriers are here, they need to respect them, and when something like this happens, it's a reminder to everyone that these are wild animals and safety needs to be their number one concern. Absolutely. Christy Morkum, thank you so much with the zoo. So as I alluded to just there, uh, the, this jaguar, this female jaguar, was involved in a case about a year ago was not as serious, didn't become a big news story like this one. This case, again, the woman is going to be okay. She was scratched up. That, of course, is not the Jaguar. It's a, that's the male Jaguar. The female is being kept out of the exhibit for now. Goodness. Reporting live, I'm Derek Stahl for Arizona's Family. Yeah, they're wild animals, Derek. Thank you so much. Those barriers, very, very important.